All right, thank you, Joey. Uh, it's truly a pleasure to welcome uh, all of our distinguished guests here today uh, to the BMO Harris Bank Center that's currently uh, undergoing a multi-year renovation project. Uh, in fact, the space we're all in right now today, 18 months from now, will probably look drastically different. Uh, next, I'd like to ask Mike Peck, who's in his 21st se uh, season with the Ice Hogs and is our Senior Director of Marketing and Contact, uh, Content to provide more context and detail to why we're all here today. A little over three years ago, Mike and his team came up with the concept of paying homage to the former Wagon Wheel Resort and the semi-professional hockey team that once played there, the Wagon Wheel Cardinals. Unfortunately, COVID delayed this special night, which was originally scheduled for the 1920 season, but we're really excited to finally wear these unique Cardinal jerseys this April 9th. On this night, we'll not only celebrate the unique history and legacy of our community, but we will also celebrate those who protect and serve our community. On behalf of the Ice Hogs and the Chicago Blackhawks organizations, I'd like to thank our first responder guests that are here with us today, and all the brave women and men who work alongside you to keep our community safe. Now to give us more detail and context on this upcoming special night, please welcome Mike Peck. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, 21 years, you make me feel old, and now I have to wear glasses with my contacts, so I guess that's means I've been doing this too long. So, well, thank you everyone for, for being here today. And uh, this is, is truly probably my favorite event uh, of, of the season. And uh, missing it the last two years uh, really left a hole in the organization. Uh, we just missed the, 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 the game date back in 2020. Then of course last year uh, with us not uh, being able to have fans, um, it's, it's, it's truly wonderful to have this event back. So um, we, are, we are really excited to, to have our 21st annual Jersey Auction Night. Uh, I'd also like to thank Insurance King and Dan Block, who, who's been a, a, a really strong supporter of this event. Um, they've been the presenting sponsor for the past several years. And like Ryan mentioned, uh, we are really excited to honor some of our hockey roots in this area. So this is the 23rd year of Ice Hogs Hockey in, in Rockford, which is, which is awesome. There's not a lot of teams that make it in minor league sports for 23 years, and we're going 23 years and, and going strong. Um, but, uh, you know, it goes before, the, the, the history of hockey goes beyond the Ice Hogs, and it's really cool for us to be able to recognize and honor some of that heritage with the Wagon Wheel Cardinals. And this is a night we've talked about for a really long time. It just got delayed a little bit longer than what we would have liked, but it's, it's really cool that, that that night is here. I'd also like to thank the, uh, the Greg Lindmark Foundation. Um, it's, uh, it, we'll hear from, from Brad Lindmark here in, in a couple of moments. Um, it was uh, established in honor of retired Rockford Deputy Chief Greg Lindmark. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's doing so many good things in our, in our community. Um, I think we take a lot for granted. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I think when you talk first responders, that's something that we try to recognize as much as possible. But one thing we take for granted is the stress that first responders are, are faced every single day. And this, this foundation, the more I've learned, the more I've worked with, with Brad over the years, um, it's just such a tremendous organization. So we are, we are honored that we are able to, to team up with the Lindmark Foundation here and, and, and really show what they're doing and support what our first responders are, are doing as well. Um, and, and for more information, I, I do encourage you to, to go to greglindmarkfoundation.com. All the information is there, and it's, it's, it's really cool to see the impact that they make in, in, in the community. Um, like Ryan mentioned, too, our, our uniforms are paying tribute to the Wagon Wheel Cardinals. Um, you know, it's, it's got a unique, uh, you know, I guess, foothold in hockey in this area. Um, Todd Oside, a former player for the Wagon Wheel Cardinals, wasn't able to be with us today, but uh, we're hopefully going to have him out to drop uh, a ceremony of first puck and, and be part of our game operations in, in April. So some of that history is still living here in Rockford. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool for us to be literally called the Wagon Wheel Cardinals for one night. So we are changing our name for one night. We're not going to be the Rockford Ice Sox. We're going to be the Wagon Wheel Cardinals. Uh, and like Ryan mentioned, we're going to have a live auction after the game on April 9th. So um, we, we encourage our fans to stick around. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun to see these jerseys, you know, going for, for thousands of dollars sometimes. And again, going back to, to a great cause. Through the first 20 years, our jersey auction has raised over a million dollars. So it's a lot of money, and, and that money all stays local. 
Um, it goes into our foundation, and then a portion of the proceeds will go back to the, uh, to the Greg Lindmark Foundation. So I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our fans. Um, a big thank you to our fans because the reason this auction has been so successful over the years is because of the generosity of our, of our great fans here in Rockford. So um, with, with that, um, I would like to turn it over to, uh, to Brad, um, someone who's put his, his heart and soul into this, uh, into this foundation. And um, on behalf of the Ice Sox and the Chicago Blackhawks, Thank you, Brad. We, we appreciate all the hard work you've put in and, and everyone else that, that's here today. So I'm going to turn it over to Brad Lindmark. Uh, first off, thank you to the Ice Hogs. Uh, Mr. Peck has been wonderful to work with. Thank you to my wife, who does a lot of our work, and the board members. Um, hard to live up to all the kind words Mr. Peck said, but um, we are helping first responders every day through our confidential counseling. Uh, many other resources we do, fundraising events, 100% of all of our uh, donations or monies we raise goes to first responders. Um, the stuff first responders see every day on top of their home life, uh, it's incredible what they have to work through with uh, crime, scenes that they go through, a uh, couple quick statistics, first responders, little less than three reported in the United States alone a day take their lives. That number is probably double because those are just the reported incidents. Um, first responders are more likely to die from suicide than in the line of duty. So when you put that in thinking the spouse tells the first responder, prays for him to come home safe, should really be more worried about suicide and their mental health. And that's kind of what our foundation has been focusing on, true overall health with the family of our first responders. And we cannot do this without events and uh, our, our other events too, but this one in particular has been a huge uh, money raiser for us. So everybody please come out and uh, see the Ice Hogs, help us out, help the Ice Hogs, support them all year long. What a wonderful, uh, excuse me. What a wonderful organization, organization they are uh, to help our foundation and others that they do throughout the year. Um, God bless the Ice Hogs and everyone that works for them. And uh, all of you for coming. I know a lot of our first responders here, the mayor, uh, chairman, they've come out to show their support. So thank you very much and uh, go Ice Hogs. My name's Tom McNamara. Uh, just wanna say, First and foremost, a huge thank you to the BMO Harris Bank Center, to the Chicago Blackhawks and the Rockford Ice Hogs, uh, and all of the staff that helped make this possible. Uh, you only need to listen to Brad for about five seconds to understand the amount of passion that he brings to this organization every single day. Uh, when you look at the city of Rockford fire department, uh, police department, and our telecommunicators down at the 911 center, you're talking about more than 150,000 calls for service that take place every year within the city of Rockford. You take that number for granted, uh, and I think Brad mentioned it well. Uh, you look at our first responders often as heroes, and they are, but they don't wear capes. They're humans just like all of us. And uh, they get vicarious trauma from going to call after call after call. And they also get, obviously, some very direct trauma uh, as well and their entire families are just equally as dedicated to our community and to their spouse's profession. Uh, and we're so thankful for them. And when you look at the Greg Lindmark Foundation that is providing direct counseling services to those who have lost a loved one uh, who is part of uh, public safety and first responders, they've done this to now and helped more than 75 individuals in our community. And that number sadly continues to grow. Uh, I just want to say again, uh, thank you to Brad, his entire family for uh, turning their pain into uh, an incredible purpose for our community and all first responders and would echo uh, Brad's thoughts. Please get out, support your ice hogs. I would say do it every single game, but make this game a special game for our first responders. And let's really try to drive up the auction prices of these jerseys because it's going to those men and women that uh, 
when it's our worst day, they are always there for us. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Chairman Joe Shirelli. Well, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Brad. Um, very inspirational words by both the Mayor and Brad Limark. And a special thanks to the Greg Limark Foundation. What wonderful work they do. And to be honored that April 9th that evening and also honoring the Wagon Wheel Cardinals who came before the Ice Hogs. Great tribute. We can't do enough for the people and the events and the organizations that come before us. And to be able to have a jersey auction that night and promote who came before us, it's amazing. On behalf of Winnebago County, the Greg Limark Foundation brings so much awareness, brings counseling, and brings education to all the first responders that we love and adore every day. They protect and serve us every day of their lives, and we owe them a lot. We owe them a debt of gratitude. And when there is needed counseling and there's needed help, we need to be there for them every day. And so this event only shows support for them, and we'll continue to do that throughout the coming years. So thank you. Congratulations to the Ice Hogs for 23 years of being here in Winnebago County and specifically in Rockford, Illinois. What a great organization. They give back so much to our community and do so many great things for our youth and our adults. Everyone needs to come out on April 9th and show support for the Greg Lindmark Foundation and the Wagon Wheel Cardinals, and let's all have a great time. Thank you. Um, my name is Robert Reffitt. I'm the Deputy Chief of the Rockford Police Department. Um, I'm here on behalf of Chief Red and the Rockford Police Department. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it here today. But we would like to say thank you very much to BMO Harris, the Blackhawks, the Ice Hawks Charitable Foundation, and the Greg Lindmark Foundation. Um, it's an excellent organization that helps all the, all the first responders in the area. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Chief Lindmark um, for a portion of my career. Um, it was a very sad day when we learned of his death, but it just goes to show that the police officers and first responders in this area, throughout their careers, they deal with a lot of traumatic events, whether it's car accidents, from minor accidents to some of the most horrific car accidents that you can imagine, to dealing with shooting victims, victims of all crime, and even children crimes, crimes that are held against children are especially difficult to deal with for a police officer. And after a course of time as being a police officer, you also have the stresses of what it does to your family life. Law enforcement first responders, they work 24-7, 365 days a year. Um, we spend a lot of holidays working. We miss a lot of time with our families. And you add that on top of some of the crimes and some of the situations that we have to deal with on a daily basis. And after 20, 25 years of doing that, that can take a toll on a person. Thank God for the Greg Lindmark Foundation for providing first responders with a chance to be able to speak with people to help some officers deal with some of the stresses that we have to deal with. Um, it's a fantastic organization. We appreciate everything that they do for us. And uh, like I said, uh, go Ice Hogs. Thank you very much. Tim O'Keefe, uh, Division Chief of Operations for the Rockford Fire Department. I'm on, here on behalf of Chief Pankow. What an excellent opportunity. This is, this is great. The Ice Hogs, Chicago Blackhawks, and the Greg Lindmark Foundation, no better opportunity for first responders to get together and have a spirited rivalry, if you will. Um, and I, I've been, been assured by our hockey coach that, uh, that the fire department had some players out last time. That's why we lost. But uh, we're going to take back the bragging rights this year. Thanks again for, for assisting with the first responders. Hi, I'm Theo Glover, uh, Rockford Park District Chief of Police. I'd like to give a heartfelt thank you to the BMO, uh, the Ice Hog Organization, as well as the Blackhawks to support the Greg Lindmark Foundation. Uh, a lot of this foundation has been put together for first responders, uh, specifically police officers lately. Uh, we're always in the uh, news um, seems like every day go by is, is not a day that goes by that we are not burned into effigy about something that we have done. And that takes a toll on, on you and you don't have a place of relief. But this organization was put together so that you're able to go some and talk to someone, to not internalize a lot of the stuff. Now you have a place that you can go and talk to someone about 
the things that you see and, and how it affects you. So this organization was put together specifically for that. So we're thankful that this organization is available and we tell everyone, all the officers, you know, don't, don't think that you're weak just because you're dealing with something and you have now a place to go where you can talk to someone anonymously. Nobody will know about it and you aren't weak. You're just trying to survive uh, what you see and how you have to respond to things on a daily basis. So thank you again to the Blackhawks and the uh, Ice Hogs uh, for contributing to our foundation that we put together for all first responders. Hello, I just want to, uh, on behalf of Winnebago County Sheriff Gary Wana, he couldn't be here today, unfortunately, but uh, he sends his uh, deep gratitude for the Lindmark Foundation, all they do for our first responders. Um, which is amazing work that they do. We want to thank the Rockford Ice Hogs, the uh, Blackhawks for their support, and our, our county board members and our city councilmen and the support that they give to our first responders daily. Uh, we really want to appreciate that um, support, and we really look forward to the game. And uh, although I'm too old to be on the ice, I'm usually in the stands supporting everybody. So we look forward to that friendly rival rivalry. So thank you very much for, for all your support. Thank you.